Hi, my name is Zubin Austin and I'm a professor and the Murray Koffler Chair in Pharmacy Management at the Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy at the University of Toronto. Long-lasting collaborations are becoming an increasingly common thing both for academics and for practitioners. There are so many opportunities available, we bring so many different skill sets to the equation. It's really gratifying to see these kinds of partnerships develop and evolve. Sometimes it can be difficult for the average pharmacist to keep up with the latest changes, the latest trends in treatment or therapy. By having pharmacy students in the pharmacy, they have access to that. The student is a link to what is the latest and most recent ways of treating patients. Academics don't have access to the same patients, the same practice sites that practitioners do. Blending our research expertise with your clinical expertise and experience is a wonderful way of advancing practice-based research. Contacting your local university, taking a student, becoming involved in the teaching activities of that university provides you as a practitioner with great opportunities to learn more about what individual faculty members are doing, what they're interested in, and who may be a great partner for the research you're trying to initiate. Pharmacists who are interested in initiating a relationship with a researcher or an academic should first start by simply volunteering to participate in some of the teaching activities that universities require. For example, take a student on an SPEP or API rotation. Become involved as a teaching assistant in a medication therapy management or professional practice lab. By being more available to students and seeing what activities are going on in the university, you'll then have an opportunity to see what kind of academics and research staff are available, what their interests are, and where there may be some opportunities for partnerships and fruitful collaborations.